Hello again, and welcome back to Pioneer. Today we are in Olzweski Orbiter in the Gare system. We are here because this is a Class 10 technology station, and at Class 10 technology stations, we can buy small plasma accelerators. Why a small plasma accelerator? Well, like I said in the video, uh, last video, I want to give it a try. Now, uh, small accelerators, small plasmas, are 22 tons, right? And our current, well, 2 megawatt laser is 7 tons. So it's, wow, that's uh, almost three times uh, as heavy as our laser. So we're going to have to be careful with our weight. And it's expensive too, 120,000 credits. And we have more than enough to pay for it. But it's still pretty expensive. Right, that's a lot of money. Whew. But let's give it a try. See, now we only have 83 tons of space free. And we only have three shield generators, so I'm, you know, I'm a little worried about that. Um, what could we do to, to free up some space? I mean, there's really not a whole lot we can do. We could make the 83 a nice, clean 80 with some better utility stuff, but... I don't know. Well, uh, yeah, that was expensive. And we don't get a whole lot back for it if we decide we don't like it and go to sell it. Okay. Well. The dent. Hello? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Can we... Hmm. <laughs> well. There it is. JA6263 is having a bad day. Can we lock onto him? No, we can't lock. Oh, there we go. Oop. That's pretty loud. <laughs> it's the police, too. <laughs> the cops are gonna blow themselves up here. Well, this is not how I planned on starting this, but okay. Oh dear. He's gonna try and come over hit me, isn't it? What is he trying to do? Stuck inside the geometry of the space station? He's probably gonna end up uh, blowing into blowing himself up if he bumps into anything else. Okay, so, well, no, I've completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> so, well, right, okay, we have our new weapon. Let's find a, a nice, easy mission we can test it out on. So, Fearless Mercenary on the Edgar system. That's some decent pay. It's a little far. It's about the same distance as this one down here. Uh, let's let's uh, check out the Edgar system. Ooh, that's big. Oh, and that's yeah, that's still pretty big. So where in Edgar does he want me to go? B one. Oh, 
that's actually not terrible. E1, we could pop over to C to refuel. Oh, the cops are still kind of bumping into things, aren't they? All right, <sighs> yeah, okay, let's give this a try. How will I be paid? Just gotta land, good, good. Okay. Set our route. Look at that, only a few jumps. But we need 12 tons of fuel. Yeah. So our ship is now a fair bit heavier, so I'm gonna need more fuel. And we can always pump fuel down from our our ship's fuel tanks, right? Our ship has 135 tons of fuel in it. So that's okay. Let's get out of here. We didn't get to see the pumpkin seed blow itself up. That's okay, though. So let's go to Hakito. Jumps are taking a little longer too. No, not that, not not that much. Gosh, can So, in the last video, I said I'd like some uh, more jump information here on the this pilot screen. We can get a button up here, you know. That would be awesome. But, whatever. And here we are, the last jump. So we're going to B1. Not even a single AU. That's pretty close. I like that. Some of these these missions you get will be for planets three or four or five AU out from the star. It just takes forever to get there. up too much gas because I want to go scooping afterwards. I guess at, at Grissi, right? Small gas giant. Nice easy scoop. Probably a little far away, yeah. Okay, now we can glide, Let's slow down a bit. Womp womp womp. There's our plasma accelerator. Wow, that shoots a lot faster than that. Well, it doesn't really shoot a whole lot faster, but it definitely is a lot cooler than our laser. for breaking. So this is a big expensive mission, so hopefully we'll find at least one or two ships to test this 
plasma accelerator on. Sometimes these uh, clandestine missions, they don't actually spawn any ships, which would be disappointing. Because we're not here for the money, so to say. I mean, the money doesn't hurt, but we're here because I want to try out this plasma accelerator. And I want to try it out on some pirates. I've noticed doing these, uh, uh, plan oh, can we see the star? We can see the planet right there. One of the things I've noticed about doing these, these kind of missions is that if you're going too fast on approach, sometimes you will fly right past the planet, and in doing so, fly past all or any of the enemies that might spawn there. Yeah, look at that chunky thing. So we do more or less need to slow down a good bit. Let's see. Anybody here? Four. There's three here, that means there's me. Aha! A drop star. Oh, okay, so this is a properly big ship. He's on the complete opposite side of the planet, though. Something I had sped up. Right. fuel. <laughs> right. And before we get too far, let's turn ourselves around so we can actually shoot the guy, should we need to. Well, we need to. <laughs> hit the brakes. Oops, that's not the brakes. Good job, me. That wasn't the brakes at all. That would have been the brakes if I had been facing the opposite direction. Alright. So, we're definitely not going to hit this guy. Ooh! What do you know? We were hitting him! And oh my! Look at that! Plasma Accelerator! You are doing a great job! I mean, we would have done a better job if we had actually hit the brakes. <laughs> but this is okay. 
So wow, that, that was very nice. That was fairly effective. Okay, so. Brakes, 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 brakes. Wrong brakes again. Let's see. 20 kilometers. Doesn't look like 20 kilometers is our effective range. 15? seen anything at 15. Okay, let's try 10 then. Looking at 12. And at 11. At 10. So you know it doesn't. Oh. There we go. So oh, it looks like our effective range might be nine kilometers. Okay, that's good. No, doesn't have the safety of the uh, of the laser, but that was very fast. We took him down very, very quickly. Okay, so now we need to get back. We need to go to a station so we can get paid. Let's check out this station. Uh, oh, Schmidt. That's that's very close. That's not bad. We could go there. Get him on. Nope. Nope. Gosh, Kima, where we were. That's interesting. Small rocky plant with tenuous hydrogen atmosphere, indigenous plant life, but no human life. Clement Colony with serious spaceport. And uh, we looked at F. Dun and Sicil. Sicil? Madsen World Mueller's Misery. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ethiduni is the way to go, I guess. We need two tons. How much fuel do we have? 82 tons? You know what? Oh. We'll just go ahead and skip the uh, Scoopy, because we can... Oh, 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 oh was about to make a huge mistake. All right, we need to go to Ethdumi B, and I had targeted Ethdumi A. Ooh. Okay, that was that was close. Uh, uh, I also have in my uh, cargo hold this unknown, this one ton of unknown stuff. What is it? No, it's unknown. <laughs> uh, one of the things I had tried earlier uh, was buying coordinates from a starport and then scooping what was there. So 
sometimes you can find stuff on sale, the coordinates for scoopable stuff on sale. I hadn't done that before. When I tried it, you know, it was like 500 credits for this location. And uh, it was okay, not particularly profitable, but nor was it unprofitable. But I probably would have made more profit if I had looked at the the cargo that I scooped a bit better. But I just went out and picked it up and was like, okay, let's go back and sell this stuff. And didn't pick the optimal starport to sell it at. But one of the things I scooped was this unknown thing. And nobody buys it. I couldn't sell it at the starport, couldn't sell it at uh, some of the, the markets, the black markets. So, I, I just kind of had it in, in my cargo hold. I forgot about it until right now. <laughs> but it doesn't do anything, so we'll just ditch it. Oh, and because I ejected it, it must have... I must have messed up the time dilation because I dropped that cargo. Ah, well, I have to think about that next time. I was going to shoot it. Success. I picked up a plasma accelerator and gave it a go. Plasma accelerator actually worked pretty well. Okay. So let me check the, the orbits real quick. Ooh. So if I miss this, I'm can I can swing back around. Ah. Insert is right there. We'll have to do a bit of maneuver. But we're doing okay. Alright. 
so I think we did pretty good today. Uh, a few mistakes, of course, but... All in all, all in all... Oh, he's on the other side of the planet. All in all, I think today was okay. New weapon? New weapon works really nice. Takes down bigger ships much, much, much better than our laser did. Not quite as... Well, what would you call it? Not quite as... Ooh, ooh, what am I doing here? Not quite as safe. Alright, we still have slowed down too much. So, <laughs> alright, not a perfect day, but okay. Alright, still though, pretty close. Yeah, plasma generator works very nice, nicely. Uh, the effective range is a lot shorter than the laser, so we're gonna have to look out for that. But I think it works fairly well. because we won't have any bonus pay for this mission. Right, there was only that one ship. So, no bonus. Very sad. Very sad. But, but, bonus or no, we set out to do, we did what we set out to do. And that's fine. Oh, it's gonna take a while to earn back the uh, money we used to buy this plasma accelerator, though. <laughs> up and call it a day. Level 6 technology. So, I, I think I will hold on to this plasma accelerator for the time being. Did well. And call it a day. So, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. See you all later. Goodbye.